Consider a body subjected to forces in different directions which leads to the development of stress within the body. To understand the stress at a point inside the body, we first establish a coordinate system with X, Y, and Z as coordinates. Now at any given point in the body, we pass three mutually perpendicular planes parallel to the XZ, XY, and YZ planes. Next, we introduce another set of mutually perpendicular planes parallel to the previously drawn planes but at an infinitesimally small distance away. This isolates a cube of infinitesimal dimensions from the body. On every face of this cube, stress components act in two ways. First one is, normal stress denoted by sigma, acting perpendicular to the plane. And second is shear stress denoted by tau, acting parallel to the plane. Both sigma and tau have two subscripts, or indices. The first subscript represents the direction in which the normal to the plane is acting. The second subscript represents the direction in which the stress component is acting. On the separated planes considered earlier, now we will visualize the stress components on the cube of infinitesimal dimensions. Stress is shown prominently only on three faces of the cube, as the other three faces have equal and opposite stress components. Since the side length of the cube approaches zero, the stress components represent the actual stress state at the considered point. Each face of the cube has one normal stress component and two shear stress components, leading to a total of nine stress components. The stress components acting on the cube can be represented in a 3 by 3 matrix, forming the stress tensor. Since stress has two indices, it is classified as a second-order tensor. The rows of the stress matrix represent the direction of the normal to the plane, while the columns represent the direction of the stress component. For example, normal of plane ABCD points towards the X direction and then in the first row the stress components with respective directions can be written down. Similarly, other components can be written down. The diagonal elements of the matrix represent normal stress components, whereas the off-diagonal elements represent shear stress components. From equilibrium considerations of the element, the stress tensor is symmetric, meaning tau xy is equal to tau yx and similar criteria follows for other shear components. Thus, stress is a second-order symmetric tensor.